We continue creating our Laravel checklister and in particular we're going through feature tests now, writing feature tests. And in the last lesson here's the final result on GitHub what was done. So first test, testing if the admin can manage the checklist groups. And in this lesson I decided to do it a bit differently. I have written all the other administrator tests one by one and I will show you the actual result and we'll explain the test and we'll explain what did I do differently. So in addition to managing checklist groups, we will write tests for managing checklists, managing tasks inside of the checklist, reordering the tasks, and this will be a live wire test. And generally here we have a choice, how much time to spend on automated tests, on writing those, and what to test, how deep, how much, how long should be the tests, how many cases to test, and all of that. And here I want to remember a quote by Matt Stauffer, who told something along the lines of, first you need to test the things that if they break, you would lose your job something like that. So very crucial parts of the application, something related to payments, something related to core data and stuff like that. So for that reason, we will test only things related to checklist groups, checklists and tasks, but we will not write tests for something like managing pages or viewing the data for users. Because if they break, nothing really much bad would happen. So someone would not see the text, it's not really crucial. Or admin would not see users maybe, like what could go wrong there? And even if something does go wrong there, then it's no big deal that something is missing like a text somewhere. But if the checklist group logic is wrong, then it would affect the whole application for other users. So this is crucial at this point. So let's see the code now. So first here we see almost the same test as on GitHub I've shown you just now. So it was named test example. And this is the first thing I want to emphasize. I've renamed the methods to properly explain what they actually do. So this is a function instead of test example is test manage checklist groups. And in here in one test I create an admin, then we create the checklist group. So basically there are operations around creating checklist group and asserting then editing the checklist group. And then at the bottom I've added deleting the checklist group. So we do the delete request to the server, then we assert the redirect then we assert that the checklist group doesn't exist anymore. It is actually soft deleted behind the scenes, but it would not be returned in first, so that is okay. And then we assert that in menu service, we don't have that checklist group anymore. So I've added the deleting part. And then method by method, I create the cases. And there are very different ways, very many ways how to structure the tests. Potentially, these could be separate tests. So managing creating checklist groups, then testing the managing of editing this and deleting this. But in my opinion and in my experience, it's pretty handy to have one test with a lot of actions one by one, sequential actions like what we do with the record, we are acting with the same record, with the same admin user with the same checklist group. First we create that, then we edit that, then we update it, and then we delete it. So it's kind of four in one method, mimicking exactly what you would do while testing in the browser clicking around. And to show you how it looks as a result of all of those tests, let's launch in the terminal PHP Artisan test. And this is the method names that become important. So five tests, and this becomes, so test manage checklist groups, that name becomes the informational field here, manage checklist groups. And this is really readable for any human, for even non-developer if you wish. So that's why we need to name the methods correctly. And now let's move on to the managing the checklists. It's in the similar manner, so we create the data, then we go through those URLs and assert that the data is changed. But there are a few things to discuss here. First we create the admin and then we create the checklist group also with factory. And in that course I've created also factory classes with commands like this one. So PHP artisan make factory, there was checklist group factory, checklist factory and task factory. Three factories that I've created with model to attach to. And if we go to our checklist group factory, for example, it's only one field of name, so it's no big deal. But factories help us in tests to quickly create the records, fake records, because we could, of course, do the same thing as above. So create the checklist group with URL, 
post like this but this part is actually already tested so we tested the checklist group creation works from url and now we don't need to test that so it is much quicker to create the record manually in the database instead of calling the url so in tests below i use factories for creating records and setting up the scenario and actually if you follow those tests you would see the pattern that each test has three parts three phases first phase is data preparation so setting up the scenario then there are actions and then there are assertions so three phases prepare act and then assert and in our case it will be prepare act assert act assert act assert multiple times but mainly what you will see in the beginning of each test is preparation for the scenario so we create checklist group with factories and then pretty similar thing we we'll load the urls and here i provided the variable of prefix so i wouldn't repeat that in all the urls because it's pretty long and then i assert the status then i post new checklist assert redirect assert that the record exists then editing pretty much the same thing the only difference in assertion so this one is pretty complicated so in menu admin menu the checklists are level two from that eloquent collection of menus so this is one liner to check that this admin menu you get the first which is first checklist group then the checklists of that group and then contains the checklist or it could be checklist id something like that so this is the short line to check if the laravel collection contains some record and then deleting we assert null and we assert that the menu doesn't contain the checklist anymore if we go down we have level three so level one is checklist group level two is checklist and level three is tasks so really similar thing with tasks just two fields instead of one it has description as well assert redirect is different and here also i check the position assert the position that if i create a task it's automatically having a position with value one also we have a task delete test which is different because task delete implies a bit more logic so again setup of admin checklist group and checklist we create two tasks and we test that after deleting the task the order the position is automatically reordered so task 2 has position 2 by default but when we delete the task 1 then we need to assert that task 1 doesn't exist and then we need to assert that task 2 has position of 1 now not 2 but 1 so this is a separate test not inside of managing task because it has some more logic inside and i wanted to separate that case scenario and final test is related to livewire livewire has a set of methods that can help us to create tests for the components for livewire components so here's the main part again i want to test if reordering works and reordering i want to remind you visually it's this set of icons you click up and down and it doesn't launch any url so to test that we need to use livewire helper livewire facade test so we mock the component name and we pass to that component the checklist which we created with that factory so this test is kind of a mix of regular eloquent and factories and laravel stuff and then when you want to call the live wire you call this so you create kind of a fake object of live wire component then you do the fake call of the method with parameters that you want and then you go back to asserting whatever you want so we call the live wire method and then we assert that task two has one position one which is changed from the original two and then the same thing task down is a different method so i will show you again in task table task up is a method of live wire component and task down is another method so we call them both in separate live wire test calls and then assert from the database that position is changed final thing in this video while shooting this video i decided to refactor some stuff so there is a repeating lines of this acting admin like this so in all those cases we have admin user created and we need acting as and in many cases we have acting as repeated here so acting as admin delete or in this case for example acting as admin here acting as admin here so first thing not sure if you know but you can do like in livewire case i did this acting as admin in the very beginning of the method 
So do it something like this. And then you don't need to repeat that here every time. So if you have the same user all over your method, you can just do acting as on top. And let's do that. So this would be the first phase of refactoring. And then we will do a bit more. So this post, again, acting as is not needed here. Same here, let's delete, acting as wherever we find it. Like this, acting as, you see how many acting as, so it's really worth to refactor into one sentence, paste, okay, and checklist group, the same thing, acting as, and then we can remove it, probably we could do multi-replace as I think now, but let's do it manually for now, acting as here, should be okay. Let's relaunch our test to see if we didn't break anything. Artisan test, it's all still good. And now one more thing. All our methods begin with the same two lines, create admin and this acting as. So why don't we right click, refactor, extract method. So we would extract that into a method. We will call it setup, refactor. PHP Storm suggests that we have more code fragments. So we replace them as well. So this set up and actually set up is a method of testing of PHP unit. So it's kind of like constructor. Let's move it on top instead. Thank you PHP storm for generating that, but we need it in a bit different place and set up is important because we need to call parent setup first like this, and then we can do whatever we want. And then I don't remember, do we have to call setup in the beginning of every function? Let's try it out for now. If we didn't break anything, we launch and it's successful. But what if we remove this setup from a few methods? Oh, it actually wasn't removed. Oh, well, okay, let's try it out now. It still passes. So let's remove that acting as from all five methods. We have five methods in our test class. So remove that and set up is kind of a constructor of that class. And let's see if it's still green. The test pass and it's actually even faster now. So now we refactor the creation of the main admin and the login to one method of setup, which makes the code a bit more elegant. So that's it for testing of admin area. In the next lesson, we will get to testing the user area features.